They are looking for justice and their day in court, but victims of child sex abuse say legislation to grant them that opportunity is stalled in the state legislature. Many of them made their case again today in Harrisburg, calling for that bill to be passed. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan explains why there is a delay. It's new at 630. That legislation would give the victims a two year window in which to sue their alleged abusers. Some say they've waited decades and don't want to wait any longer. Well, it started off just hands and then uh, one day I was drugged and raped. Five decades ago, Bill says he suffered unspeakable abuse at the hands of Father Richard Mueller here at the former St. Kenny's Parish in Knoxville. Always contemplated suicide. I'm finally coming to terms with it after 40 years, 50 years, 50 years of this. For Bill, justice remains elusive. He's suing the Diocese of Pittsburgh, but needs the legislature to temporarily change the statute of limitations to have his case heard. The Senate Judiciary Committee has approved a bill to do just that, but Majority Leader Kim Ward is indicating she won't put it up for a floor vote. She is choosing to protect institutions and bad actors. It's just that simple. While child advocates accuse Ward of bending to the pressure of the church, they stress the bill covers all victims of child sexual abuse. The vast majority of victims are victims of child sexual abuse in the home. The church or any religious institution is a very small part of the pie of perpetrators, so to speak. Senator Ward says the ineptitude of the Wolf administration has put her in this situation. A bill to put the two-year window up for a public referendum passed both the House and the Senate, but died after former Secretary of State Kathy Buchfar failed to advertise it. The new bill doesn't call for a referendum. Ward says it's unconstitutional and will get struck down in the courts. In a statement, she says the Senate will continue to pursue a solution with compassion for the victims and goes on to say, quote, However, as lawmakers, we have a responsibility to ensure we provide victims with the strongest legal path forward to face their abusers in court. Her reasoning isn't sitting well with those advocates and those victims. I don't buy it. Survivors don't buy it. And survivors are not going away. They need to get this passed, done, and take care of these victims and hopefully prevent more victims. The scars of child sexual abuse last a lifetime, and most of these victims have waited most of their lives for justice. Now it appears they must continue waiting. Reporting in Knoxville, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.